let's go talk about it, guys. We obviously got a lot to talk about. You can see we've got uh, quite a bit of convection around this. It's just not organized 100%. And so th th this is a good thing. Don't get me wrong, right? But you can see the center is right there, right over Cuba, and will continue to move off towards the west-northwest. The bigger picture does show those waves moving in through the northern Bahamas, even through South Florida as well, and of course over through western parts of Cuba. This is the visible satellite, and you use this, you can really see some of the low clouds underneath here. That's what we're looking for, the surface low. Where is that? And again, we, we've got it right in here. We've got recon out there right now as well. They're going to be looking at it, and that is going to push off towards the north and the west. Now, here is the latest track. As tomorrow morning gets here, in fact, 9, 10 in the morning, we may have already tropical depression, right? Not post -tro uh, potential tropical cyclone, right? So 35 mile per hour winds, better organized over the Straits of Florida near Key West. That would be a depression in the morning. By the afternoon, and early evening hours, this is 2 a.m., but by the afternoon, like 7, 8 o'clock or so, Saturday, we would have a tropical storm. Debbie would get the name there. Now, 50 mile per hour winds just west of Pinellas County, Sunday midday. So the worst weather is on the north and east side of this, and that will be coming through in the morning on Sunday if this forecast holds. If this goes further to the east, and it still can, it would have more of an effect down here in Sarasota County, although you're going to get an effect either way but that would not get it as strong. If it stays out over water, it could get to 65 mile per hour winds with a landfall up where some Crystal River to the Big Bend, right? And then from there on, it goes on up the southeast coast. So the Carolinas, Georgia, that looks like they will have to deal with it. Now, I showed you the watches in the warnings. I just want to give you an idea again. This is not just coastal areas. Sumter County is in there now, and it goes all the way down. They've put a warning in for the coastal areas down towards Northport. So actually that area is in a tropical storm warning at this part. Now, this is the forecast model plot, spaghetti plot, right? So some are way out here and more are starting to add up, but we still got a bunch that are right in here. Things are going to change. That's what you should get from this. Overall, it's going to do something like this, but the devil's in the details. How close does it get to us? If it can get here sooner, and closer to land, it won't be as strong. If it comes somewhere around here, it'll be a little bit on the stronger side. Our forecast model actually does a, re a pretty good job on most of this. This is Saturday morning, 8 o'clock. I think it's a little late, but the center is just coming off the midday. This is around 5 o'clock. You see the center's here, Key West. And then basically, this is Sunday night or Sunday morning, Saturday night, 1 a.m. Look at the rain already here. Those are outer rain bands. That's actually a small tornado threat, especially those outer rain bands, even more so than the inner rain bands. So we'll have to watch that. Likely get a tornado watch Saturday night, 9, 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. This is Sunday morning, 7 a.m. There we are. Sarasota County, Manatee, Tampa. Again, just our model. This looks a little slow to me, but this is a, a, a course that's closer to land. Look where the heavy rain is east of it. You wouldn't get as much at the coast if that were to happen. And then it moves out as we go through Sunday afternoon. That's 9 p.m. Sunday. Things are getting better, but we really have to watch those bands because they can flood. Now, this has changed. Two to four foot storm surge is now the forecast. There's a storm surge warning in effect for the area. And that timing for the winds, arrival of 40 mile per hour winds around 8 a.m. Sunday morning, Manatee County. Tampa just after that, the best chance for those 40 plus mile per hour winds is along the coast and just offshore. There'll be less the further you move inland just because the friction of the land will block that down just a little bit. So we have a weather impact alert for Saturday and Sunday. Might extend it into Monday, but I think Sunday night things will be getting better. What does this mean? This normally we issue these for small things, heat advisory, something like that. Obviously this is no brainer. This is for the tropical system Saturday night through the entirety of Sunday. All right, the impact winds, I'm thinking 50 to 60 miles per hour right along the coast, less as you work your way inland. And these, all these numbers will change. Four to eight inches to the right of wherever that center goes. So mostly inland locations. Storm surge, I just showed you two to four. So be prepared for a tropical storm making landfall here, guys. Uh, and, and, you know, it's not a hurricane, but it, it's going to be close. It could be if it gets uh, further offshore. Now, real quick, let's rub you, uh, show you some of this uh, current weather, 87. Right now, 97 is what it feels like. We did get some showers to pop up. We will have some more as these come together. So all of this is going to push back slowly towards the coast. Be careful of the lightning out there, especially around downtown Tampa. That cell's moving backwards. Here we go. Outer rain bands. This is all part of the flow around the system. 
That means there will be a few showers, especially south of I-4 overnight tonight. The better chance comes tomorrow afternoon, and then certainly it's overnight Saturday night into Sunday and Sunday morning. I think we'll see the strongest showers and storms that come through here with the wind. Guys?